Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Space Engineers. So last time we built this giant uh, hangar bay, I guess you would call it, for our ships. Yeah, I guess it would be a hangar bay because this is where the flying ships will be stored. Alright, it came out quite nice. I've decided to go with the scaffolding box. I just prefer the way that that looks. I don't know why that one's missing. Um, why are you missing? You shouldn't be missing. You should be all nice and purpley. There was a reason for me removing that. I can't remember what it was right now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, so what I wanted to do today is I need to connect the um, connector system up down here. Now, I've already done some real basic work, just the boring stuff, right? So I've drilled out the holes. I've started placing down some conveyor tubes and stuff and things here. We've got a ladder going at the top. I'll show you. There's nothing really fancy up there. Uh, again, conveyor tubes going over here. Then we got this like middle section here that I perp I actually built this for this very reason. And then we got a little doorway here to enter. It's like a Jeffrey's tube access point type deal. So we come in here. You know, you, you can get to everywhere. I purposely made these holes big enough to at least crouch in. I think I can stand up in all of them. I'm currently standing up. So we can get to all of them if we need be to see what's broken or what have you. Though Bob should probably take care of that, but you know, Bob sometimes is too busy fixated on grinding down my gears. Then we got this ladder system, it works, you know, you climb up, yay, you climb down. It's amazing. It doesn't like to let me off, we gotta press F. But then we climb up here, boom 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 boom. Eh, here. And then we got this conveyor system coming down through here as well. Uh, from the a little base place we have at the moment. See, I, I've got to fix this. This is annoying. I don't want to be crouching. I am a particularly lazy person and I don't want to have to crouch every time I come in here. Yeah. Okay, there we go. But yeah, so I got all that basic piping stuff done just so you can skip it. It's pretty boring. So now we can move on to something a little bit more complicated. So what I would like to do is first off, I move this out of the way for a bit. Sorry, buddy, you're in the way. There we go, park you like that. Not a very good parking spot, you're not flat, but whatever. Now, what I had in planned, what I had in my mind was. Um, sorry, I got. My dog was bugging me. So <laughs> what I had in mind was like, I want like a connector that kind of pops up out of the ground and uh, what's up dog and you know rotates and connects oh, yeah, I know now you're barking you're a good boy anyway so I wanted to pop up out of the ground and then bend over and hopefully line up perfectly with that I, I don't know I, I want to see how that works what I do know is that to do this I am going to need blast door blocks um, surrounding this thing. So, let's just get that done with, shall we? Uh, corner blocks, sure. We'll put one corner there, one corner there, one corner there, one corner there. Then we need a U to be that way, that way, that way, and then that way. Okay, that's perfect, sure. Why the hell not? Then we're gonna have to go down a bit. Um,. How far down do you think we're going to have to go? We're going to have to go down enough for a piston. Uh, connect. Uh, this is bugging me with this. Let me dig downwards. Alright. I just want to go down. Okay, we're going to have to dig down enough for a piston, a connector, and the tubes to connect to it, actually. And a hinge block. Because we want it to, you know, bend. So how far down is that? Do you think that's going to be far enough? Probably not, but it'll do for now. Alright, so let's just dig this part out here too. Alright, now can we get it down? Thanks. Come on, you can do it, game. Let me dig straight down. I like it when it works. When it works, it works great. Okay, so uh, conveyor junctions I've got rid of. Because I wanted to build some fancy uh, slider system that I'm never going to use. It just kind of looked cool and made sense RP wise. Yeah, there we go. Um, come on. There we go. Now we want this to come down like this. 
Probably going to have to go a little bit further down, I'd imagine. Um, not too much farther, though. I wonder if that will be enough. Boom. Okay, so that might be enough. Let's have a look. Alright, so we're going to go uh, you, then I want the turny guy to be there, then we'll go back up, and then for the piston I'm going to have to make sure I clear out all the space for it because pistons don't like to be, um, pistons aren't a big fan of being in box, uh, stuck in voxels from memory. Alright, piston, they're there. Alright, let's chuck you on like so. Um, okay, just clear that out a bit little bit there. Alright. You're not going to have your damn hinge block on. Your um, thingy on you, are you? No. Okay, can, can we attach the thing now? Excellent, we could. Okay. So we're going to need that there. And I wanted this all to be connected up to the system too, because it's supposed to be able to, you know, drain... Uh, empty out the cargo containers and stuff. Alright, so we want the hinge block system. No, you can't place it because the walls are in the way. Kind of fair enough. Makes sense, I suppose. Alright. Is that enough with the walls out of the way? Yeah, an easier way to do this is just to get like a drill and attach it on the piston going down and then just drill a hole in the ground. I have not done that. Um, one sec, guys. Alright, I'm back. Um, dog was naughty. Dog got a bird. <laughs> anyway, I had to deal with that. I had to clean all that up. But anyway, let's move on. Um, I forgot what I was doing. Ah, yes! We're building things. So now I want to put a hinge on here. Actually, which way do we... I want the hinge to be facing that way. It's very important that it faces the right direction. Okay, that would be the right direction. Uh, okay, yeah, no, you want you down there. Uh, okay, bam, hinge, and then we want a uh, connector. Okay, connector, and we have you, sir. Bam, you don't want to be placed because oh, you'll go that way, and you'll go that way. Excellent. Yes, like that, sure. Why the hell not? Alright, now let's do some tests here. Okay, I need you to go... How far is it, do you think? So that's two and a half, five, seven and a half. Will we actually be able to make it out? Ten meters? Ooh, that's interesting. Let's have a look. Alright, so control panel. Piston. Oh, crap. I don't know which piston's piston. Uh, <laughs> piston left. Piston. Okay, so piston left is part of the is part of the um the the rover. Alright, so you come up fully extended. I think they were at fifteen blocks did they not originally? Okay, let's have a look. Okay. That's the height. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, so we go here. Can I I got access to it for a glorious half second. There we go. That's what we want to control. Piston hangar one. Uh, you know what? I think that may be perfect, actually. Yeah, there's actually a control panel. Here. Never know that. Anyway, <laughs> hinge. Okay, so hinge. We want. Um, okay, so you're going to go that way. We actually want you to go the other way, so we go to negative speed, and then 90 degrees is the max. Maybe we would make it go like um, hinge. We want it to go a lower limit of let's just say like 85. All right, what do you think? You think that'll work? And then we got to change the maximum limit actually of the hinge. Bear with me here. Hinge uh, upper limit zero. Bam. I just want to see if we click reverse. That should just go straight up now, shouldn't it? I think. 
Bam. Yep, straight up. Excellent. And then we go here. Hinge. Block. And reverse again. And it should go down. Basically stop just slightly facing upwards. Alright, that worked. Now let's see if we can get it to work with a uh, ship attached. Okay, so... Uh, uh. Alright, let's see. Can't actually see, so this is a bit of an issue. F8. It's just the orbital camera, so we can make sure we get this all. Alright, alright. Six, we're a little bit off. Boom. F8. A little bit more, I think. Nope, that's not the one I want. I should probably put a reversing camera on this thing. You know what, let's just go with the F8 trick again. Okay. Go. Okay, let's do this. This is not easy. I should really just put the damn camera on it. What do you guys think? Do you think I should be putting a camera on this thing? Um, I think I should. Alright, let's just do that. Let's just quickly chuck a camera on here. Um, camera. Where should we put it? Thinking maybe we should chuck it like right here. Get rid of this guy. Put nine. Uh, what color? It's like a the light one. Yeah, I'll stick you there. Come on, Bob. Thanks. All right, let's see. That work. Okay, we're gonna go Control Two, G, Camera. I want to select the camera. Put the camera there. View. Three. This is awkward. Not gonna lie. Okay, so I, th I think, well, it's yellow. Um, that means it could connect. But I think one of the problems is the top of that connector is hitting that thing there. So what we need to do is I just move you forward for a minute. We get rid of this connector. Alright, and then we put down another connector this way. Alright, let's see if that works. And then, you know what, I kinda think I should maybe make this just let this go to uh, negative 90 degrees. Uh, negative 90. Just let you be flat. Lord you up. Turbo! And then. Now let's try this again. Okay. Alright, well, that kind of seems to be working. Lock that, turn that off. I go here, G, connector, pod main connector. Oh, that's already on. That, that, oh, nope, none of that is what I want to do. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't want to do. Tab pause. I'm gonna go control one. There we go. And seven proximity locked. There we go. That worked. Is it perfect? No. Does it work? Yes. Does that make me happy? Yes. <laughs> Alright, now we need to test that this is gonna work in every other situation, right? So I'm gonna weld this up. Gonna need Bob to fill that out, please, Bob. Bob! Bob, assistance in hangar one! Thank you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna assign these to buttons. So this one, I'm thinking. I don't even know what this connector is called. Should probably change the name. There we go. Control panel connector two. Connector hangar one. Bam. That'll do the trick. Alright, so go here. Uh, connector, connector, connector two, connector two, connector hanger one. There we go. We go with that as going to be the switch lock. Okay. 
Then we're going to need. Ooh. Okay, so should we do the hinge? Hinge, reverse, piston, hanger one, reverse. Alright, so. Now this is where the tricky trickiness gets into this. So switch lock. Then we reverse and pull that down at the same time. No. Okay, the game did not like that. Did not like it at all. Alright, so the piston has to go down slower. Alright, let's try piston. Piston hanger one. Velocity point two. Okay, let's see if that'll work. Uh, hinge, and then piston. Okay, well, connect. Okay, so the piston is not going to have to be switch lock. It's going to have to change that to um, connector hanger one, toggle block on off, connector hanger one, switch lock. Alright, so lock away, toggle block off, hinge reverse. Hmm. I've broken it! It's fine, okay. You know what, let's move this out of the way. Uh, right here. For now. So we can play around with this hinge system. Alright, so we've got the hinge to go down. Like that. Okay. Maybe we got the hinge. Hmm. I mean, we could just do it this way. You go like up. And then hinge. Yeah, the hinge needs to go slower. Hinge needs to go slower. Alright, hinge. Yeah, I could do this all with timer blocks and stuff, but... I don't want to. I, I like pushing buttons. <laughs> um, but really should probably use a timer block. Okay, let's go 0 0.77, alright? Because it, it, it can't go straight up like that. It's going to hit the bottom of the ship. That's the other problem. So, so we go reverse like this. Alright. Okay, get back into spot, all the way down, nice and secure, hidden away, just the way, ha 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 ha, we like it. Okay, you're taking your time, but that's okay, because it's necessary. And, you done? How far down do you go? Okay, I think that's probably too far. Let's just go piston hanger. Let's say minimum distance five meters. Let's have a look. At what point do I feel like it's far enough down? I think that it would be far enough down. Hmm. Yeah, five meters. I think five meters is a good thing. All right, so let's just go piston reverse. All right, so you like that? Put you down. Awesome. Okay, so if we start the hinge and then the piston now. Okay, no, the piston, the hinge went too fast again. Okay, hinge, still too fast. Oh, yeah, alright, let's try. 0.27. Alright. Okay, so we go hinge, piston. Okay, that might just work. Let's see. I don't think it will work. I think it's going to hit the uh, ship and cause all kinds of issues. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that at all. 
that is way too slow on the hinges part. Alright. Alright, alright. Hinge. Let's move you up. Alright, I want you to go negative 90. Alright. Now, if I go hinge reverse, then I go piston hanger. It's all about timing. Alright, I just gotta figure out what the timing is gonna be like. Alright, I think if we wait for the piston, for the connector to come up to where it's in line with this, then we should be able to start the reverse of the hinge. Alright, so we go like that. And wait for the piston to get the thing to come to about there. Then we fold it over. I think that will work better. That looks like that would work that way. Yeah, I think that'll work that way. Okay, so then let's test this out, right? So let's put the hinge in reverse mode, wait till it gets to about there. Then we'll reverse the piston like so. Okay, that kind of works. Alright, let's move this back, and let's try with this in position now, shall we? Alright, oh, Okay, now we've got that in position, let's see how this works now. So, we go piston, wait a second. Okay, now we go hinge. And. I think that would be perfect if the, if the, uh, if the ship was back far enough. Alright, All right, let's put the ship back. Let's try this again. Alright, uh, I don't know what that C is for. Um. Let's go like this. Can I use the other camera? So let's just say. Let's just say like that. Alright. Now we make sure the piece that connector is turned off. So we're not having connection issues. Then we go reverse hinge. And reverse piston. No. Are you having an issue because you were locked? Yep. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Interesting. You need to switch lock and then turn it off. But now you need to turn it on. Switch lock so you're connected. Switch lock so you're like that. Then turn it off so you're like that. Then we want to hinge, reverse the hinge. Like that. Okay, so let's try reverse that hinge first. We can't. I think because you're probably thinking you clipped into that, I'd imagine. Let's have a look. Bye. Uh, uh. Yeah, alright. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's try. So we're going to hinge reverse, reverse like that. So all connected up, it's fine, alright? It's fine, and then we click on this, We and then we click on that, so it kind of keeps it down low. But that would work, in theory. Alright, in theory, that would work. Maybe. Maybe what we have to do is we have to extend this out just a little bit. If it's even, uh, I don't think it's. Uh, maybe it's. Not All right, so we grab that. Let's do something. You know, heavy modifications to our vessel. It's fine. All right, let's just load that back up. Uh, I need conveyor tubes. 
conveyor, small conveyor, where are you? There you are. Bam. We'll just make you all. This car. No. Put that there. Just gonna put two conveyor junctions there. Uh, connector. Frame. Put one like that. And then we go with an actual connector. Like that. Okay, let's see if that'll work. Okay, we better change the name of this too, actually, while we're here. Connector. Main pod. Alright, let's do that. Alright, put that on, put that on. Go here. See, let's see if we can get this to connect now. Uh, connector, put the connector on. We gotta reverse the piston a little bit, and at, at that point, we start the hinge turning. Probably part the ship a little bit too close. Okay, you do like the hinge turn. I may have started the hinge a tad early. All right, there we go. Now, what are we gonna do here? Okay, yeah, so this ship is parked a fraction too close. Uh, boom. Okay, so that's about as close as you want to be parked. Yeah, okay, that looks like about as close as we can get that parked. Alright, so let's just go switch lock, switch lock, off, hinge reverse, piston down. Alright. No. You, you don't want to do it. You, you, you're getting stuck. Alright, give me a second to play around with this because it's been like so long already. Okay, I figured it out. Sort of. Um, this is how it's going to work, right? So, I, I don't want to use timer blocks. Don't suggest timer blocks. And this is why I'm going to do it. I want to do it all manually. I got All I need is these four buttons and it works perfectly. So, you press 1. Piston hanger. Reverse. Then, once we start seeing the yellow, we click reverse on the hinge. It should connect up perfectly and make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. Let's go. It looks pretty good to me so far. So good. And at some point, there we go, when it's fully extended. Excellent. We go turn that on and then switch lock. And it's all connected up, right? It's perfect. It's beautiful. No one needs to ask any questions about anything. Just accept the fact that it's all good. Then, when we're done, what you do is you switch lock, you toggle that off, and then you start reversing the hinge. And then you... No, you don't reverse the hinge. Actually, you're supposed to do the piston first. So, let's start this again. My dog has found his squeaky toy. So, you get piston down, and then when it gets down low, then you turn that on, and it should be perfect. Should fit through perfectly. Nice and easy. It's a bit slow. But you know what? That avoids any kind of damage. And it goes in perfectly. No damage to that one. No damage to that one. So I'm willing to call that a success. Uh, for now. Sorry. Got to take the squeaky toy off the dog for a minute. You go play with the fluffy toy. Okay. So yeah. There we go. It took me forever. Uh, but I figured it out. I'm quite happy with it. I think it works pretty well. Uh, I like the manualness of it. So... It's just an excuse to be lazy, to be honest. I don't want to have to do math to figure out timings to use a timer block. This seems to work pretty well in itself. Like that, again. Now, the only real trick doing this is that I've got to remember how to um, park the ship, right? So, I'm thinking the best way to remember how to park the ship would be to do, like, some sort of painting, right? So, um... You want the landing gear to be on that one. So we'd go like, you know, uh, maybe, yeah, we'll go with like a, a red dot there. And a red dot on that back one. I made a white one by accident. And another red dot there. Did it, why do you keep doing that? Why? Just don't do that. There we go. So then we got like three little red dots to mark our, where our, um, Thing should be, eh, you know what, actually, hold on. What we should do is what we should do 
is we should make that the red dot there because then the two landing gears would be in the middle right so it's like those two landing gears on on that th this first landing gear right in the middle and it's like a s way to you know outline where uh, you should be now also because why the hell not uh, let's go here do we have like a dirty Maybe like a uh, dust no frozen concrete I think the battered armor should do, maybe. Just want to make like a don't walk here zone. Start painting this base up a little bit, give it a bit of color. Yeah, that'll do. Are you gonna, are you gonna flip out? There we go. Yep, okay, well you did both. It's fine. There we go. I think that looks, I think that came out pretty well. I'm happy with it. Are you guys happy with it? Now, on the other side here, I don't have to do something as difficult. I'm literally just going to have... Um, uh, should I do the same one here? I was thinking about doing the same one here, but I'm thinking I'm just going to have a connector come out of the wall. Because this one, it, it, the connector's at the back. It's easy enough to get to. It's not an issue. The problem with this one is that it has that big tail on the back of it. So I couldn't get to the connector there. I am probably going to actually also put a connector here as well. For when I have the pod attached, um, the pod ha the pod's gone. Um, I, dro I dropped the pod and the pod got exploded by something when I wasn't paying attention. I think the ship it was grinding fell on top of it. I'm not 100 percent certain. But anyway, yeah, that's it. That's good. That's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I had fun. I'm glad that I actually got it to work in the end. I was generally thinking that I probably wouldn't be able to, but it appears fine. It works. It doesn't hit the ship, as long as the ship is parked properly. <laughs> I'm quite Im actually impressed with it. Uh, I think it's quite a achievement, to be honest. Uh, if you like this episode, guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment. Let me know how, a better way to do it, other than timer blocks. I don't want to do math. I'm lazy. <laughs> and as always, guys, have a good one, and I'll see you all next time. Assuming you hit that subscribe button, because I forgot to ask you to do it.